Greetings from the Witch House, and welcome. I am your host, Dr. Gallo. The season to be jolly is upon us once more, and what better way to celebrate than with a gift? Tonight, I will give you the creeps. There are plenty of scary and horrific things associated with Christmas around the globe. There is the Krampus, the Mary Lewid, the god-awful comedy specials. In Greece, tales are told of the Kalikansaros, a goblin-like vampire who is banished to hell, only to emerge and feed on humans during the twelve days of Christmas. They are sometimes described as having wings and usually with long, terrible claws which they use to tear the flesh of their victims. These creatures originate from human babies unlucky enough simply to be born during the festive season, and are more likely to turn if they are wayward or violent toward their siblings. Perhaps more frightening than the Calicanzaros was the ancient ritual parents used to perform to prevent their children from becoming such monsters. They would hold their infant's feet over an open fire, until their toes were burned black. Over in Germany, there's another nightmarish figure stalking the land while the nights are long and cold. But it's not the one you might have heard of. Frau Perchta is a terrifying witch said to fly through the skies, surrounded by an army of horned demons, and the souls of unbaptized children. She is said to resemble an old crone with a huge beaked nose of iron, and carries a long, cruel knife under her shawl. Legend has it that if you have unfinished weaving on the twelfth night of Christmas, you might expect a visit from Frau Perchta, and your punishment will depend on your transgressions. If it was just the unfinished weaving, she might trample or even set fire to the fibres. But if your house is a mess, and God forbid, you have forgotten to leave out the traditional bowl of porridge for her. She will disembowel you in your sleep, and replace your guts with rocks and straw. This gives rise to Frau Perchter's nickname, the Belly Slitter. <laughs> What's the scariest thing you've encountered at Christmas time? Tell me in the comments below. <laughs> 